Good morning, everyone. Hold on. Zoom in on those eyes. Those tiny eyes are the eyes of a tired photographer. And there is a great reason for that. I will reveal in just a second. But before, do you remember the debate I opened up in the previous episode around paying for street portraits? Should you do it? Should you not do it? When is it okay? How do you feel about it? I want to be truthful when I share those photography adventures. I want to be open and share what is happening on the field. I believe as photographers, we need to have those discussions, not shy away from them. So get ready for another day of raw photography adventures here in Nepal, because today we're taking some of my favorite portraits ever with a different interaction than the previous episode with completely different results. And I gotta tell you, at the end of this episode, I'm completely failing my shoot. I want to discard all those photos, but I also learned some important lessons and discovered how local photographer hustle to make money on the field. So if that sounds good to you, let's get back to the field and share why we're so tired. Good morning, everyone. Just ordered a car. It is really early. And Jeremy, yeah. how are you feeling? <laughs> I'm tired as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Honestly, we're not sleeping enough because we're shooting pretty late in the evening or coming back and then having dinner and then honestly, it's a lot. But today, new adventure, new day. We're going to a Buddha stupa. I don't even know how to explain it. You'll see it. But it's a place where people do rituals and offerings. It should be exciting for sunrise, in my opinion, because there's a lot of activity. And then we'll go to another very famous place that everyone has recommended to, which is also UNESCO World Heritage Space. And um, we'll go walk around and explore and kind of try to document what I feel like documenting, honestly. Not every day is like, extremely planned, but I really want to get a feel for the area around Kathmandu, the different places, different smaller cities. So. It's kind of the plan today. All right, so we made it to the area. The guy was trying to charge us more for the taxi, which is weird because there is an app here in Nepal. It's called Pateo that you can use. Uh, and it's great. It books the car and you pay them a lot. It's so pretty. So this is a Buddha stupa. It's basically a place of worship and people are going in circles around it, uh, doing their prayers, meditation and stuff. And it's really absolutely beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around and see where we can get maybe the best angle for photos. And maybe I'll have some creative uh, um, take on it where I can actually try a slow shutter speed where we can see the people moving around the, the fixed thing. Could be cool because everyone's moving clearly and there's a lot of people. So let's, let's see, let's explore and I'll go a little bit of POV style after. I'm gonna ask her if I can light, it, light up one candle. Uh, excuse me, how much is it for one? 20 rupees. Hmm? 20? 20 rupees. Thank you. Thank you. Can I take a photo of you? With the dog? Okay. <laughs> ramro, Ramro. Ramro, Ramro. Ah, Ramro. Thank you. Sonia Vada. Oh, that was so beautiful. I love that portrait. It looks so cool. <laughs> Camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's Oh, this one. Uh... Oh, it's a good one. Oh, it's a good Oh, this is cool with the light now. Hey. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Good. Can yes. I take a photo of you? Yeah, sir. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Uh, last two. Here we go. 
Can you do it with your hand like this? Yes. <laughs> He's making jokes? Whoa! Cool. Yes, sir! Nice! Excuse me? Can I take a photo of you? It's okay? Yeah? Beautiful! Mm. Ramro! Mm. Looking good! Oh, this is my friend from earlier! Let's get another photo of her! Hey! Yeah. Namaste! Yeah! Take more photos! <laughs> many, many, many! One more! One more! Beautiful. Oh yeah, that's okay. Uh, then you have a no, no, I'm a no, I'm a recate, the Nata, no, Michaiosi, I'm a recate. Oh, two jets. Uh, thank you. Bye bye. Ramro. If anyone knows what she said, please translate for me. I would love to know. All right, so we've been here for <laughs> a bit. Honestly, I've been switching between 1635, 2470, 35. The light keeps changing, and I literally had this lady. So I took a photo, and then I asked her if I could take her photo. And super old lady, we couldn't even communicate, but somehow she then asked me if I wanted to take her photo when she is turning the, the prayer wheel. So it was so funny, like I love the interactions with people here. Also those guys with the smoke who are selling basically things that you, offerings that you can burn. It's like incense in a way. Super nice and um, he asked if I would take his photo, took his photo and his friend. I'll send them on WhatsApp. It's really beautiful and I, I love this place. I, I'm just bummed I don't have my small printer because this would be the perfect place for that. And yeah, I don't have it. Ah. Guys, everything so cinematic here and the portraits are insane. The, even this dog looks so cool in portraits. I was just sitting here and I was reviewing some photos. There was a monk next to me. Next thing you know, he's like, oh, I, I'm like, do you want a photo? He's like, yeah, take a photo of me also, I want. Because I was showing him the portraits I took of other people. And it's just so fun. Right now we're chilling. It's just nice to take a break from running around. Such a cool spot. Maybe I'll go 7200 a little bit later, but I love the 35 angle, honestly. Look at this dog. Hey, buddy. Hi. You want another phone? Portrait? Yes, portrait. <laughs> Out of the main square, what an experience. Honestly, I used all my lenses. The 3514 was definitely awesome for portraits. And I want to say it's just beautiful to see people religious or spiritual and or cultural practices. So I absolutely love it. And the amount of life and things happening is just in incredible. We're starting to see a little bit the mountains in the background of Kathmandu, but not much, honestly, it's still very hazy. And that also allows me to get a different angle over there. And the monks are super nice and friendly. It was just saying hi to them. I'm on the 2470 and let's try to get this and also create a little bit with this temple. Okay, we're on the way back to the hotel. We're gonna go for a sunset mission at the Monkey Temple. I promise I'll have the word properly pronounced by the time we arrive. I was reviewing the photos from this morning. I think I have 1,500 photos just from this morning, if not more. I was shooting a lot in burst mode for 
an obvious reasons but honestly it was really really awesome and there's some photos i think they're like portfolio photos for me uh, that i will absolutely love to share and, and show people especially some of those portraits and people saying yes oh, what great interaction like nepal has been an absolutely blasting beautiful surprise and people are super friendly so i'm super excited for what's coming uh, i think we're gonna do a, a spot again but with a different light we'll see how it turns out maybe great maybe terrible there's only one way to know it's to meet there Out and about oui, going, going to go to Montmartre. <laughs> yeah, basically that temple right over there on top. Now, the trick is the sun is kind of hazy still, so we don't know how well it's gonna be lit up. But I have the 7200 also because there is some really cool birds flying earlier. It looked like an eagle or falcon or something. I don't know. If you're from here and you know exactly, let me know. The streets are so interesting. There's a lot happening, and it's just really nice to document, honestly. You don't know for how much longer those will be like that. I remember having photos from Bali from like 14 years ago and even Japan from even like 20 years ago. And when you look back, you're like, oh, wow, some things really have changed and some others. But it's awesome to have that documentation. I'm going to be out of breath. We have like a lot of steps to climb up. There's so many more shops than at sunrise when we came. There's a lot more people also. But it's a completely different crowd, so I'm not sure it's gonna work, honestly, for tonight. Maybe since it's gonna be not great up there and too busy and too many people. There's only one way to know, though. Make it all the way up. It's clearly nothing compared to uh, morning. What do you think, Jeremy? Are you different as you understand in the morning? Yeah. A lot more calls in the morning, a lot more refuel. Uh, monkeys as well, right now there's not that many. Uh, so yeah, the ambience was just very different. Still pretty, look at this. But we'll try, we'll see what we can do. Maybe get some views of Kathmandu with the mountains in the background. Okay, I may not get the best photos ever, but this is the best invention ever for the nations. So everyone's trying to weave inside. You know what's crazy guys? There is like an army of photographers here, you see? There's like tons of them. What they do is basically they, they're here and they take photos for people if they want. And I think they said like a photo is like 50 or 100 rupees. I can remember it was like 50 cents. I was like, wow, how do you amortize your gear at 50 cents a photo? Why not? I mean, if you really do many, many. And also it has to do with the local market, what people can afford. It's really fun and it's cool to see them hustle for with photography. Awesome. Okay, here's a pro tip for you guys. You have a 7200 from Canon, an old one. You can actually come here to Nepal and sell it for the DSLR. I'm sure there will be lots of people happy. Like every photographer, or like 90% of them that I saw here that were like uh, shooting, like I said, they literally had the 7200. So it's kind of funny to, to see. So don't hesitate, come to Nepal. You're gonna have a great trip and you can amortize your trip or lower the cost by selling your lens. <laughs> Alright guys, we totally failed this sunset mission, honestly. So instead, we're gonna get some food right now. And we're waiting for the momos, which are dumplings from Nepal. Fail the sunset mission. It's just the atmosphere was different. Expectations versus reality. Sure. That, that's why I mean different ambience. But I mean, I can't forget this morning was so good. And here's like probably my top five photos from that day. Honestly, from the top of my head, like that little street in the corner where I shot a 35 millimeter, absolutely love that one. The lady with the candle and the dog, the portrait is sick, in my opinion. And that lady with her baby in the back, oh man, like with the light and the smoke and everything and the portraits, actually the others I took here. I'm so excited by those. So that's a few photos that uh, really struck me and will stay in my memory for a long time. I think it's important, you know? It's like you can take thousands of photos, which I did uh, 
probably a thousand eight hundred photos today. That's crazy. I have a lot to review. So you can take a lot of photos, but the ones that will stay with you are the ones that have an impact either because of who you met, how you actually interacted with that person, or simply because it's a shot that really speaks to you once it's edited and done. So I really encourage you not to overthink too much the process of taking photos. Now, if you want to get better, remember, join me on the 30 day adventure to great photos to take your photography to the next level. We'll work on what happens in your brain. So no matter what kind of situation, no matter what kind of cameras, you can make the best of it. And with that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next episode because we have more adventures here in Nepal. So get out there, go shoot, try something different, try something new. Bon appétit! Bon appétit!